Yeah. You okay? <sighs> Just about. Well, have you seen George? Yes, yes. He's all right. He's, he's coping. Oh. Inspector, good to see you again. Just wish it were under different circumstances. Come through. Thank you. This is DS Jones. Good morning. Sir, Dr. Delaney was driving your car last night. Why? Why was that? I lent it to him to go and see a patient after surgery, half seven ish. We're a bit old fashioned here, still do our own call outs. How well did you know Dr. Delaney? Oh, you work with a man every day, you get to know each other pretty well. So if he'd had any problems, he would have confided in you? I like to think so, yes. We're not sure that his death was an accident. What sort of enemies might a doctor have? What makes you think we have any? Well, you know, patients sometimes think they've been uh, let down, that you could have done things differently, uh, sooner, better. Has Alan Delaney made any slip-ups lately? Al was one of the finest young doctors I've ever met. Full stop. So what's the plan, sir? Get our hands on the patient records. Uh, you leave the patient side of it to me. I want the murder weapon. Whatever car, truck or bus it was that hit him. You find out about Delaney's past, will you? Just... Sorry. Course and CID. I'd never have guessed. Yeah, well, well, that'll be the impenetrable disguise. Were you round here about seven o'clock last night? Oh, do me a favour. How about earlier in the day? See anybody hanging about here? As a matter of fact, there was someone, yeah. In a pickup. Parked just out there. Did you get the number, Mr...? Roberts. No, no, it was up to its gunnels in mud. When I clocked the driver, he, uh, he shot off. Come back about half an hour later, parked in the same place, sat in the truck. Did you get a good look at him? No, not really. What colour was the truck? Just told you. Mud. Thank you. So which one of the million pickups in the country is it? And don't say... The mighty one. No. He's round at the pub. I know he is. This is for you, by way of a bribe. Ah. What Jim told you was right. Alan was a first-rate doctor, an uncomplicated man, no family, no ties. And what about Dr Kirkwood himself? He's a great senior partner and a good friend. I'm not surprised Delith Mostyn's in love with him. And how do things stand, you know, between Dr Kirkwood and Dr Delaney? Al and Jim were friends, but four years ago they did fall out. It's the curse of self-funding. I mean, we're doctors, not bankers. And come the audit, we discovered that £30,000 was missing. That's a hefty sum. Mm. Did it ever turn up? Nope. But for some reason, Jim thought it must have been Al who'd taken it. He had debts, you see. What sort of debts? Medical school, Tom. Student loans. So if he didn't take it... Who did? We decided to treat it as a clerical error. Jim accepted that and he and Al made up. I'm only telling you this because you'll find out afterwards. That patient Dr Delaney was going to visit last night. Who was it? Dorothy Hutton, Jim's mother-in-law. Really? Then why didn't Dr Kirkwood go himself? He was going to a parish council meeting. He asked Alan to step in and lent him his brand-new motor to make the journey in. <laughs> <laughs> 